welcome to the channel. Make sure to click the bell and subscribe button. Right here, tonight we got two surprise packages. We're first gonna be opening up the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. A silver edition, so let's get it open. look at it so it looks like the one from the previous iPhones with the notch right here the only difference part it looks a little wider I'd say it looks bigger in total plus the three big like coming out cameras okay let's see what else is in the box you got airpods in the box you know those Apple Craze AirPods? They're with the new iPhone with its chart. Oh, they're wired. Well, <laughs> that's how Apple gets you. You got, oh, this is, this, this is a cool phone charger. It has like a, a sleek feel to it. You also got another phone charger. What, what is this? No, just a holder. Oh, I think it uses a different, doesn't it? I feel like it uses a different charging cable. No, it's just okay. So they're gonna be using different things for this, I guess. Let me just check these. Yeah. So what they're gonna be doing is, you see this cable? You see this piece of cable right here? This is gonna plug into the outlet right here. You're not gonna use your traditional old one, so that's a new change. There is nothing else in the box. See, that looks like AirPods. The ones you see the wires. Okay, let's power up this phone. There it goes. Okay, so I always wait for the English version because I don't know if it's gonna play a different language. I don't know what that says. Probably hello, because in English. transfer the information. Keep this iPhone near. Okay. Go and activate the phone. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's saying to do face ID. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it off camera because um, it's gonna be hard to hold the camera, so I'll be right back. Let's set, oh, set face ID. First position your face in the camera frame. Then move your head in a circle showing angles of your face. Once you see this, your face ID is now set up. Okay, it's gonna ask you to create a passcode. On the passcode options, if you don't wanna do a number, you can do custom like letters, uh, custom neurotic, or four digit. Uh, I'm not gonna make a password. Does it make me have to do a passcode? Oh yeah, um, okay, I'm just gonna do my passcode. You guys don't get to see it. Okay. See, apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this phone. Store from iCloud backup. I don't have one. Store from Mac or PC. Transfer directly from an iPhone. Move data. Oh! So if you're an Android person, Apple is actually making friends, sort of. 
move data from Android. So if you're an Android phone, move into Apple, you can take your data from your Android, put it on the Apple, easy peasy. Okay, I want to move directly from my iPhone. Okay. Mine kind of went. So I'm just going to scan. Okay, then. Twenty to twenty five minutes it thinks it's gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna click continue. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna go through all this progress. Okay, once it's done, I'll be i I'll come back. Okay, once it starts setting up your Apple ID, it'll be asking you for your Apple ID password, so I'm just gonna put that in. Next it's gonna ask for the two factor authentication. I never got this. A message with a oh has been sent to your trusted devices. Enter the code to continue. My other phone over here, it's doing something. Okay, got my laptop here because it's a trusted device. Okay, it's going to say your Apple ID is going to be used in somewhere else. You click allow. It's going to tell you the code. So I'm just type mine in. Right back until the next thing it's going to ask you for. Okay, the next thing it's going to tell you about is a terms and conditions. If you want to read this, you can. I'm not reading this. And agree. Settings from your other phone. Yeah, anyway. Continue. Keep your iPhone up to date. Apple Watch, do I use Apple? Yes. I do have an Apple Watch for a fact. Alex. Hold on, I just read this. I can't really see what they're talking about. Nah, I don't talk about it. Okay, it's going to ask us to go about appearance. Select a light or dark appearance and see how iOS adjusts depending on what you choose. There's a light. Or is it dark? So let me just, let me just look at this. Okay. So it's like saying if you want light mode or dark mode. I prefer light, but I think you can choose it later, hopefully. Like, do I want black, really? I'll choose white. I may change it later in settings. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna transfer the data, and we'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so maybe like a minute after, it's gonna tell you the time remaining. It went from three to five to seven, and it's probably gonna take a little bit of time. This has sixty four gigs. This has sixty four gigs. I probably used like two thirds of that, so it's gonna be two thirds. See you nine minutes. But I won't bother you with how many minutes it's gonna take because you don't have to look at all the minutes because I have to and you'll skip right to the end. Okay guys, it's all done. On my old phone here, it's saying transfer complete. And before you trade in, give away, or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. Okay, so let's click continue. Okay, that's my phone. That's the old one. Now let's see the new one. Send a send a comment in the comment section. Oh. Send a comment in the comment section. What boat do you? Oh, what ship do you think that is? 
Okay. So let me just do my face. Oh, I unlocked. Now that's that's quick. Oh my god. It kept everything. Like this is exactly if you look at my phone. Look. It's exactly the same. Oh my god. Look. Isn't that so funny? Okay, so right now we're gonna make our first call on this phone. <laughs> Let oh first why don't we give like a little overview? Let's let's go to the camera. I'll show. New camera, capture on the frame. Oh yeah, so these three cameras will show you what's outside the frame, but what's taking. So just take a little minute to read that. Okay. Okay. So when you're taking a photo, I don't, I'm not exactly how sure this works. Let me do this. It's like quick. See how it shows outside? I forgot. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to work this thing. It's saying that the carrier service is not working. So let's just, this key comes with it, with the phone. Let's open this up. See, it's saying no SIM card installed. Let's click OK. Come on out. OK, what goes in here? Oh, it's actually a Sprint card. OK, so we have to activate the phone, actually. So let's put that back in. So I'm telling you, do not open the SIM card. If you got it from Sprint or somewhere, like Sprint, the carrier service, the SIM card is going to come installed. And I show how you activate it. It's back in. It's in. And there's the key. Waiting for activation. This may take some time. I don't know if it's going to activate by, myself, by itself, but I'm going to go find out if you have to like call it in and I'll talk. Okay, so. What happened was instead of activating by itself, you have to go to the Sprint website or Verizon, wherever you get from your your carrier, and you talk to customer service. It's a whole process, like what's your SIM card number and that. They'll tell you how to do it. The process takes about like five to fifteen, maybe twenty minutes, and your phone works. And we're gonna be doing a prank call to somebody to show that works. So let's call its number. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six four six. Okay, so no one picked up. So let's FaceTime him. Let's leave your phone on the ground. Unavailable. He's not there. <laughs> Alright, well, it does work. Well, it does work. You saw it calling. Okay, so that's it for the review of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs>